Shane Berger's Garden. So today what we're doing is we're beginning the process of germinating plants. Of course, you, um, pardon my nose, uh, got a cold. Um, like you all know, if you got kids, kids are bringing diseases. <laughs> they little germ balls. And uh, so and everybody else gets it. So it is what it is. Uh, but you got to love it. Um, but today we're beginning the germination process for some of our plants. Um, we're only germinating things that um, take uh, an extended amount of time to germinate. So thyme, basil, not well, not regular basil, but Tulsi basil or holy basil, I think uh, some people call it. And um, what else? And chives, right? So these things take anywhere between three to sometime a month or two months to um, germinate, especially in the case of Tulsi basil, um, which can take about six, six to eight weeks. So we definitely just want to get them started, uh, being in zone 8B. Uh, we got a little bit of time left to do that before, you know, um, spring rolls around. But we just want to have these plants a little bit more established. Um, we're doing this because um, our chive, um, chives that we're, we're planting are going to be our companion plants for some other plants. Chives have a pungent odor. This odor has, a, has an ability to deter some pests. We're doing all this for the sake of not having to use pesticides. I think I've said that like a thousand times, but uh, I have to say it again. Oh no. Oh no, I just made a terrible error. I'll be able to save it, but oh, sucks. Uh, and this is Tulsi basil, which is spilled all out on my table. And the the sucky part about it is they're like microscopic so we're gonna, I'm gonna have to put those in first um, but with your our composition here that we have of our that we have of our um, soil it's peat moss uh, perlite generic uh, generic compost and mushroom compost and a little bit of um, blood meal and mix all those things together and that's what you get you want to make sure that your soil is nice light and fluffy has some bounce to it uh, won't allow your plants to sit here and rot in it um, of course remember this is not their forever home so this these things have to be um, you know this is not the forever home this is just your little nursery this is how you begin to to grow your plants and that's just to make sure that I use uh, I wish I had the parts uh, of it uh, I can't really tell. I just kind of just, you know, I just kind of go with it when I'm, when I'm building it. So, uh, I have to definitely put, I guess, make a recipe for it. But, uh, but it's basic. Pretty affordable, too. Um, anyway, you want to plant your chives. Chives, these come from Baker Creek. Um, pretty good as far as germination rates go and, um, germination period. I think they're back shipping now. They had stopped shipping for, for a minute. Uh, due to COVID, uh, but uh, let's see. You want to plant these about one, one a fourth of an inch deep. Uh, you probably want to do maybe two, two or maybe even three to a cell. I think Baker Creek has a pretty good uh, track history for me of germination period. So I'm only I only did just one per cell, and they're tiny. Um, I've already done some, so I don't want to waste you all the time, your time here. Um, I've already done some, and I just want to put one fourth inch because I've actually had already put those in there. And you just want to cover them back up. Tulsi basil is a little different. I had this ingenious idea to put my Tulsi basil uh, in this little thing over here and then kind of sprinkle it over. So if you guys bear with me for a second, I can try to uh, salvage this. A little bit of a spot to put you all down. Uh, See him? I don't think that's not seeds. That's actually dirt. What you're looking at? <laughs> the seeds are these little tiny things here. So my idea was to just hold on one second, guys. I have to sort this out. Just give me one second. All right, guys. I'm back. Sorry about that. I have to. Uh, uh, Tulsi seeds are just microscopic little things. This time, I'm probably even gonna focus on it. But they're microscopic. 
And so I just want to sprinkle them overneath the, over the top of the soil. And, uh, I just want to sprinkle them over the top of the soil because they need soil, they need sunlight to germinate. And then I just want to come back over the top of them. Just a pinch of this. Not even that much. That, actually, that's a little bit too much. I just want to come back over the top of them and do it like that. They need sunlight to germinate. They need about 75. They need 65 to 70 degrees or, or plus to germinate. So they need a little bit of heat. Um, so I'm going to get that straightened away. But once I do that, once you have that done, you just want to wrap them up in cellophane, in cellophane wrap. After you moisten it down really nicely, so a good, a good handy dandy spray bottle comes in handy. I'm just trying to I'll finish this side up over here. Now I just want to moisten them down. Make sure everything's nice and moist. I'm going to keep your plants moist. Cellophane wrap will help you do that. You don't want them to rot. You just want everything to be nice and moist. They don't take. They don't require much moisture to trigger um to trigger growth. You're gonna wrap them up in your cellophane wrap. Get it nice and tight. You'll probably begin to see condensation happen on the inside, which is a good thing. You're just basically creating a little mini greenhouse. Um, I just want to tuck that in nice and tight as I can get it around the sides of it. These trays are. 72 width set. They have 72 cells per tray. Um, I give them in packs of 10. Fairly, fairly inexpensive. Um, I, got, I filmed the video about the lights. Uh, I've got another rack already. Just haven't put it together yet. Um, but you just want to make sure you create your, create you a nice little uh, greenhouse effect in there and put it on your lights. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna straighten that one out over there, though. I gotta get that Tulsi basil on all those cells. <laughs> remember Tulsi, remember your chives. You want to plant them a fourth inch deep in the soil. You want them to, um, this, they don't require as much sunlight. You don't want to pack them down, though, but you just want to be in there pretty firm into the soil. The Tulsi basil does require sunlight to grow, um, so it's, it's, it's barely under any soil when you plant it. Because uh, it will need that light to simulate the growth. <clears throat> Remember, we're doing all this uh, just because we want to continue to help our environment. Uh, continue to keep the pest away and try not to use pesticides. Uh, we'll do our best. I, I have no problem not using it. If we lose stuff, we lose it. If we don't, we don't. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, there's still a work in progress down here trying to get all this stuff together. I've been so focused on uh, building the irrigation system, which is basically all done. I just have to put it all together. All the water heads are here. And let's see what I got you here. A terrible mess behind me. But yeah, our water heads are already done. Um, so we've gone ahead and we've done our irrigation. That's just, uh, I think they call this thing a wobbler. A wobbler. Yeah, what's the name? There's a proper name for it. Uh, the XL Wobbler. X C E L. They got these things from Drip Depot. Um, it's about what five, five feet maybe. Um, so all that's done. Just gotta wire it in and everything. Not wire that in, but you know, for the best that's pretty much it for today, guys. Um, so we're beginning the germination process. Um, I think I already said our recipe calls for over a hundred plus on a lot of our on our chives, forty eight for our toasty basil, um, regular basil, out the roof. Man. The numbers are astronomical. Which those all started in the ground. I think I already showed this, but I got lime, cinnamon, tulsi, Persian, lemon, opal, purple, as far as the basils go. Uh, the, I just got to 
You want to make sure you keep your seeds though. This is just my veggie pack with all my greens. We're doing uh, quite a bit of greens too. I think over here we've got amaranth, nasturtium, calendula, marshmallow, amaranth, borage, buckwheat, chamomile. Chamomile and buckwheat being the rock stars. I get a lot of this stuff from uh, Sajeka Farms. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Sajella, Zella Farms, Zella. Let me see what the name is. The actual name. Uh, let's see if I can get it to focus. It's not gonna focus. There it is. Zella, Jake, Farm and Garden. Man, they got some quick turnaround turnaround rates as far as mailing them out. I think they're based out of Florida. Um, check them out. I get them off of Etsy. A lot of the other things come from Baker Creek. Uh, they do a really good job of getting things out pretty fast. I think they're back up and shipping and running now. Uh, but I definitely mess around. I, de I definitely get down with the. So I never actually. I just hit them up on um, Etsy and they kind of and they always come through. Uh, but they definitely check them out. Check them out if you got time. Uh, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Uh, I would take you outside and show what we got going on, but it, it's pouring down raining. Um, the garden itself, we've done all the pretty much all of it. We still got that one strip to cut. Everything else has been covered up in plastic. I wish I could show you because it doesn't mean no. Let, let me see if I can show you. Hold on one second. Let's let's, uh, let's let's see if we can take a trip outside. All right, that's a negative on there. I've lost track of time. It's the sun's down outside. Uh, <laughs> like I said, what happens? You, you get so caught up in this stuff, you kind of lose track of time. Uh, but it's okay. Uh, I'll show you in the next video, probably tomorrow. Um, we've covered everything up in plastic as far as the ground that we've already broken. We only did that because I want to, once I tilled it, I disturbed the seabed underneath the ground. That then activates weed seeds that were there. Um, so coming back over with black plastic triggers, of course, the seeds are going to grow. It triggers the seeds. The seeds didn't come up. The seeds got no sunlight. They die back. And so by the time March and April rolls around, they'll be ready to go. Um, so that's why, we, that's why I did that. I think I'm using 3.5 mil plastic on some of it and 6 mil plastic on the last little piece that has to be done, uh, which I definitely got to get it done. But we're never going to get a dry day here. So I'm probably just going to end up covering the rest of it all in plastic. Just going to plant in it and not till it. Um, which we'll see how that goes. But other than that, guys, that's it for today. Um, I, I thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and all that stuff. And uh, I pray the atmosphere that you're moving, that you're building in. I know you're growing in it. Uh, as I'm nothing but God, and I pray that you remain covered in these um, these trying times. I know a lot of a lot of things have gone on in the world. Uh, on a, yeah, between a lot of families that I know. I just want I want to pray for them. I want to pray that they uh, continue to have peace and continue to be strong in these these moments that uh, uh, that we are, we can't possibly try to understand. That's just something far bigger than us and far greater than us is moving, and we just have to kind of step back and let him work. And uh, that's it for today, guys. I thank you so much. Uh, let's get it again some other time. Let me fix this mess with these. Uh, <laughs> with, with, with these seeds uh, and then we'll, we'll get it again thanks so much guys